What is up, guys? Okay. Oh, hey, guys. So we have the start of my project here. This is actually going to be my senior, senior project, actually. Okay, thanks. <laughs> yep. So, uh, picked it up for uh, an undisclosed amount of money at, at, uh, yeah. at uh, Rusty Hook. So, we got a good bit of frame here. We got a fairly clean bed. It ain't perfect. Got a little bit of dents and dings, but it's gonna work for what we are going to do with it. Got the wheels and tires off of Scotty over here. You're welcome. Thanks. Yep. Always helping. But our plans with this are going to be big. So stay tuned. Maybe you guys know what's in store. All right, it's been a while since the last video, but a little update. We got the wheels from Sam on here, painted up. Got some lug nuts there on. Got it off the cinder blocks. Hopefully starting soon on the tongue. Really not a lot has changed. Cleaned it up a little. We got the drive shaft out. We got a bumper from a 2007 250. And it looks like these mounts will fit here. But I'm gonna have to cut the uh, sides off. So that's hey an update. We'll see you in the next one. All right, we are back. It is the big day. We Tommy is welding, but not right now because that's turned around. We got it off the trailer thanks to the old John Deere here. She was doing some wheelies, but Tom kept it under control. It's all those years pulling up at the steam shed. And yes, me out. yes. The brakes were locked up, so we went in there. We had to beat on the drums a little bit. We beat uh, them with a ten-pound sledgehammer. Yep. Yeah. And then, uh, but I guess you'll have that. Yeah, you'll have that on these big jobs. We freed it up though. We got her out here. So, where'd we start? We pretty much notched the frame right here. Heated it up and we also notched it down there. We uh, did the same on this side, got it bent in. We leveled off these and then we beveled them so that they are at the correct angle and then we're gonna have to cut them there to bend it back out so it uh, fits the right angle of that so that's where we are at it's really coming together yeah it is coming along pretty nice so uh, we might even tow it home today maybe, maybe. possibly Let's high see. possibilities yes so we'll keep you updated throughout the day. All right, we are back. It's later in the day. The sun is setting, but check this out. A very successful day. So I forget what we had in the last time we filmed, but the tongue is on. Not the prettiest welds, but they will definitely hold, hopefully. About to take it on its first maiden voyage well, it was here. welded with a stick welder, so it'll hold. A Lincoln, of course. Hey, yeah. Miller, I, I Drink don't know. Miller, well, Lincoln. Yes, sir. <laughs> so, not, not too bad there. We got a brace here. This is all fully welded where we cut. Fully welded. Fully welded down here. The jack is on. Uh, we still have to do another type of brace. We're probably going to put a plate probably covering this whole bottom piece and then also something to patch up that front there and yeah, we got to get the safety chains on to take it home better hurry up that sun is setting fast old sun also got the fuel tank out with a bunch of nasty stuff fuel in it yeah Who knew that'd be in fuel there? so we're going on the maiden voyage here yeah, hope it doesn't break we'll see you in the truck Yep. All right, guys, it's currently 420. Cheat your cigarette. Cheat your cigarette. It's on its voyage. There she is. Kind of crooked. <laughs> is because it? It, from my mirrors, it actually looks straight, but who knows? I have oh, just a tad bit sticking out there, if you say so myself. Yeah, it seems about the same here. Same over there? Yeah. I mean, it doesn't look really there she freaking goes. Monster 
selling it. Down the road. What is this? <laughs> Fix it again, Tony. <laughs> <laughs> yes, sir. All right. Remember, hasn't broken yet. Go back there. Oh, yeah. Remember, there's no excuse for the way I'm about to act. Really? Wow. That was all 110 horsepower right there, ladies and gentlemen. Yes. Woo there she goes. Still on there. It's bouncing a little, but for a freaking 350 axle with no weight in it, it's not as bad as I thought it'd be. Try to stop. Like, just stop, and we'll get out and see if it's uh, tailing behind your truck pretty nicely. What do you mean? Like, stop the truck. Yeah. Stop it, put it in park. Now we'll get out. And we'll just see. Oh, look. look. Smoke tail lights, like I said. Yeah, I, I definitely need the uh, higher edge though. It's sitting pretty well. Yeah. yeah. It seems fairly straight. It's kind of like me. So what do you think there, Al? I think it looks pretty straight here. Looks pretty straight on with the truck. Oh, well, let's see. Yeah. What? <laughs> well, I... Huh? <laughs> we still have to tighten the lug nuts. You don't need lug nuts. One's better than none, I always say. Yes, sir. -y. All right, we'll go turn around at the farm. We'll so, be seeing you now. Yeah, this will probably be the end of this update. We'll see you in the next one.